In this morning's Woman's Doctor, we're talking about signs of deep vein thrombosis or DVT, a blood clot that forms in the vein deep inside a part of the body. And Dr. Paul Lucas joins us now with some more information. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great, thank you. All right, well, now this is an important topic. Tell us a little bit about who this really affects. Yeah, you know, from the segment, it really could affect anybody. I mean, there are some risk factors, certainly. There's genetic risk factors. There's lifestyle risk factors that we can modify. And in this patient's case, she really didn't exemplify a lot of them. I think hers was more exacerbated by a calf injury, wow. which uh, ended up lingering. <clears throat> you know, she had chronic swelling, which didn't subside. So she ended up going to the doctor, which I think is very important. If mm -hmm. you have an injury or some symptom, know your body, know what it's trying to tell you, and go to the doctor and get checked out if it doesn't get better. Tell us some about a, something about the first symptoms or signs that you see when you have this. Yeah, most people have swelling. Okay. That's by far the most common. About 75% of patients will also have pain, and uh, about half of those will have tenderness over the area of the blood clot. How but you really won't know that you have one until you have an ultrasound. Yikes, how do we prevent this from happening? Well, know your risk factors, and at least speak to your doctor about them. It's important, again, to know your body and know what your factors are. Like I said, in this patient's case, her risk factor, she did have one. Um, she certainly did not have any genetic risk factors, which I was looking for, okay. being such a young athlete and active. But her calf injury probably exacerbated that. Got to pay close attention. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. We're gonna be